Welcome to Coffee in the Clouds at Waldorf Astoria Residences, Miami. We are honored today with the presence of the CEO of the Miami Parking Authority, Alejandra Argudin. Welcome. Thank you, nice to be here. So the first question is, when did you start this job? Ah, two weeks prior to the pandemic uh, hitting in 2020, I was uh, named the CEO for the Miami Parking Authority. Um, so it's been a good challenge, um, but I had been in the Miami Parking Authority for 15 years now. Um, and prior to that, I worked for the city for another 14 years. So I'm very familiar with the city of Miami. I was born and raised here in Miami uh, to Cuban Chinese parents, immigrants. Uh, so watching the resurgence of downtown Miami is, is an honor for me to be a part of it. BMG and MPA understand the importance of the revitalizing of urban core of downtown Miami. What should we expect in the future in terms of MPA to contribute into downtown Miami? What are we expecting in the next years to come from MPA? So I think that part of what happened in the pandemic, I, I think one of the first calls I got was for, from Ryan and Adrian uh, from PMG to do a, a partnership in the lots that are on Biscayne Boulevard. And it was a, a, it's a, it's a part of a project that has been talked about for quite some time. The city has talked about greening that area, uh, the lots that are on Biscayne Boulevard. Uh, to provide a sense of community and a sense of place for people who are moving to to downtown um, but it's it's a bigger project it's a bigger project that encompasses fdot and encompasses you know removal of lanes and and so as opposed to that may take a longer time when we got approached by pmg to potentially beautify the lots that are across the street so that when you are walking out you don't only see a big piece of concrete like they say, the concrete jungle, right? Um, that you can see something beautiful um, where you can mix parking with a, a, a place where people can sit and have a cup of coffee or have a conversation or just a place to rest. I think that was a, a phenomenal idea, um, something that we wanted to put forward and it could be the catalyst for what Biscayne Boulevard could look like. That's amazing. What does a global brand like Waldorf Astoria mean for downtown Miami? Oh, it's incredible. I, I think that it, we always want and we say that we are an international city and right. i think that this will solidify Thank you, Antonio. that sure. in that it's a beautiful building architecturally it's gorgeous mm -hmm. um, you're attracting people to want to come and live here if we provide the right amenities and we provide the right environment uh, for the community I, I was like i said i was born and raised here and i think at the time and i was mentioning this uh, to matthew that at the time Downtown was beautiful. We used to come here. I used to come to Woolworth. And I mean, at that time, it was a, a great little store to go to. And and then it almost like took a hiatus where, you know, downtown, it, it was going through um, what I, I would say almost like an identity crisis. Um, and then now I like that. I feel like more <laughs> people are coming in here, whether it's for the climate or because we are, uh, you know, the mayor's trying to push the tech city. I think those things are very important for us um, to to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And so we are um, excited to be uh, part of that. And I think that we're gonna see the city continue to grow and develop. Mm -hmm. So PMG is leaving their mark here as to what everybody has to come up to the standards at that. Right, what, what excites you the most when it comes to downtown Miami? What, what gets you more excited? I think people living here and attracting people to live here, uh, whether you are a young uh, professional or even families to live here. I think you're seeing a lot of young professionals come to, 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 to the area. Right next to us, there's a development um, that I am seeing a lot of young um, um, talent mm -hmm. and professionals that are coming from really other parts of the country. They're not from here. Uh, I would like to see more people from Miami come down to the urban core, live and work here, play here, um, and give them a, a sense of community for them to be comfortable and, and be happy to be in downtown. I think seeing the nightlife, because during the daytime you see a lot of workers, but what do you have at night? And, and I think if we make this a city, a community, for people to come and play and live and work, I think that will change completely um, the look of, of downtown Miami, which should be the epicenter for, you know, becoming the international city. This is where it should start. Right, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you. I'm gonna give a shout out to women here in the show because I do wanna <laughs> I do wanna bring it about. It, it's important that you're a CEO of a pub of, of, of a public company of part of the city of Miami Parking Authority. 
And and how does that feel of of being a woman in in, in a city and being the CEO? Um, well, given that there's good representation of women here uh, sitting with me, sorry, you're odd man out. Um, but I, you know, I I always say this. I I don't see myself as a, a powerful woman in a, in a position. Sometimes I just want to work and I just want to do my best and I give it my all, whether. I'm a woman or a man and I see my staff that way as well. Give it your all no matter who you are. But when I see myself in part of the industry and the difference that I can make as a woman, my industry is um, more men than women. Um, it's changed a lot since I started. When I started, there was hardly any women. Um, now you see more women, but not in the C-suite. And I think that, you know, representing the city well and representing a government entity well is important to me. It's important to me as a woman and, and for younger women out there that there is potential for you to rise. You know, I never, I never studied and said, I'm going to do parking for a living. You know, I was just giving an opportunity and I ran with the opportunity and I, I always want to represent that well, um, not only for us women um, that we can reach for the stars and even though we may be the underdog in, in our industries, never let that stop you and and that's important to me to always be that example mm -hmm. so i always try to do that with my staff and uh, women um, that i come in contact with that's well thank you alejandra for coming and being with us at coffee in the clouds thank I think you it was thank you for an amazing me. conversation very very informative a conversation. I think a lot of us and uh, the people that are watching us need to know everything that the the, the city PMG and everybody's doing to do to help downtown Miami and to help it grow. Yes, so absolutely. thank you again for your time. Glad to that you're a part of it as well. Yes, we're you're part welcome. of it. Thank you.